Wumba. Wumbo. Wumba. Ugh. Stupid pronunciation. Ugh. Well, let's, uh... Now, let's see. I can I can only think of two jiggies I can actually do at this point. Uh, and one of them is actually this way. Me thinks. Actually, it's that's the way to uh, Boggy's place, which I actually might have gone in before. Maybe I haven't, but whatever. All right, I remember this place. I think I won here with Wumbo, Wumbo, Wumba, but I didn't Mumbo, but I didn't do anything. So basically, this is uh, this ice cube. Her husband is in the next lo the next world, Click Clock wo Wood. Or click. Not the clock, clock wood up. What's the pl what's the place? I don't know. Whatever it's called. Uh, I can't think of it. Jeez, it's not that hard. It's the one where Canary marries, and I know that. And basically, we have to kill her. Murder. That is so mean. I don't like how we have to murder them. Whatever. And this leads to that. That's the TV they've been watching for years. A, a stupid snowman, wow. Here's Boggy, I guess. And, yeah, that's not widescreen to today's standards. Although, actually, it could be, but... Uh, to me, it just seems like a 4x3 TV. And also, why is everything made of ice here? <laughs> it's so freaking stupid. Gone. So anyway, this guy is, once again, fat, like the, uh, Freezy Peak level. And he basically wants the fish. And now he's fat, now he's fat again. Great. I love how he just spat out the Jiggy. That's like the second one we've gotten out of Boggy. In a really disgusting manner. Uh, the first one was in Freezy Peak, where, um, we had to go from the sled or something. We had to go from a slide and stomp him. And, yeah, 72 jiggies. Nothing much to say about that. Okay. Bear Babes DVD. And this is pretty much, you know who, Big Breasted Woman. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna look at everything, actually. Ice furniture, ice chairs. Um, some random honeycomb. Which I assume is supposed to be a trophy, but it's obviously not, since it's just a honeycomb piece. Ice lamp? Why do you need an ice lamp? Is the TV made of ice? Yeah. No, no, never mind. The TV's not made of ice. I know they have um, ice bookshelves somewhere here. I can't see it. Uh, down here actually leads to the kids. Stupid kids. And we have random pictures of Freezy Peak. Okay, um, and for some reason this one has a Banjo and Kazooie, um, uh, yeah, how do, how do you have a Banjo and Kazooie, um, blanket? I want one of those, that would be cool to have. And no problem, fat purse, fat woman. Let's see, ice lamps, ice, ice sh blanket sheets, they're ice sheets, what's the point of having it? And let's see, isn't there a nice bookshelf somewhere here? No, there's the igloo from Banjo-Kazooie. And then there's that snowman from Banjo-Kazooie also. God, so many Banjo-Kazooie references. Whatever, nothing much to say here. <laughs> Other than, how do you live under ice furniture? That is awesome. How they can live with ice furniture. <laughs> uh, besides that... Not much left to do, besides, I have seven Jiggies now, I believe, out of the ten in this level. And this is pretty much this guy. Basically, um, we have to use a fire egg on this guy. I already, I already unlocked him through Mumbo, but I didn't do much with him before. And with that... Let's keep warming him up. Hooray! <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> it's so funny. Also, that Jiggy actually is pretty odd colored. And now he wants us to carry him back to, uh, 
What's the place? Uh, the fireside with the tent. Yes, it does sound like a job for Banjo. Oh god. <laughs> now I need the Banjo and Kazooie pads again. I could just do that one right now. I would make that the last Jiggy I get in the level, but I'm not, I'm not going to, since it doesn't deserve to be the last Jiggy in this level. Maybe the transformation does, but that one definitely doesn't deserve the last Jiggy. Uh, now I'm confused again. Is this the way to the warpads? Please tell me it is. Yes, it is, okay. Let's just switch to Banjo, I guess. No, not Kazooie, Banjo. And just go all the way over there. And, well, just slip through here, I guess. And, let's see, bear nap him, I guess. Although he's technically not a bear. Uh, his jiggy, yeah, that was kind of weird. So I don't get why we have to carry him. And once again, Banjo's defying the laws of physics with carrying massive items in his backpack. But then again, this isn't as bad as carrying other things. But still. Uh, at least this is almost over. And now, let's just basically... Uh, lower side, right? Yeah, well, lower side's the best place. And that's the tent over there. So it's not too far away. At least. Assuming you've unlocked the war pads. I don't know why you wouldn't have. And waiting for more uh, clockward eggs. Clockward! And let's see. Do this. And yes it is. Your tent's exactly the same. And Banjo, what? You're calling this worthless, yet you're collecting a bunch of useless items that don't even do much in this game either, but still. Anyway, uh, here's- there's a little thing going on after he goes to sleep. Uh, there's some dialogue, interestingly. I wonder what my next adventure may wait. Uh, that's not- that's not what it is, but this is basically referencing, uh, a future Game Boy Advance game they'd make called Saber Wolf with a U instead of an O. Come on. Come on, please. Um, please say it. Are you gonna say anything, please? There we go. Perhaps I'll ride on a dolphin. Yeah, that, that's, that's what it is. Uh, the game, or sorry, the project of the time was called Project Dolphin, which would eventually become Saber Wolf, obviously. And with that, um, wait, I don't want to go here. I want to go near Kazooie. Right. Other side, sorry. Uh, Wamba, yeah. There are not a lot of, um, fire areas to visit. Kind of sad. Well, there probably are. I'm just missing a, probably a few. Uh, let's see. From here, I have how many Jiggies now? Eight out of the ten, okay. Uh, one of them actually requires Mwamba, so I'll probably do that, actually. And yes, you finally get to see the transformation after, like, what? <laughs> Ages of me pretty much skipping it and avoiding it. And I forgot you have to talk to her instead. Yes, whatever, to the usual jazz. And you don't need to see the dialogue again, I've already shown it off enough. Indeed I will. And now we have a snowball, hooray! Oh, I will, alright. So basically, um, the snowball gets bigger the more you push B. Or the more more you the more you roll, I guess. This is surprisingly a disappointing um transformation, because I really don't like it. So as you do this more, you'll get you'll gain health, but you'll also get bigger, so 
And it'll be harder to get up. And let's see. Darn you! Screw you all. Um, to get to the other side, which is kind of obvious, you have to, uh... Well, not use a war pad. You have to get through the fireside somehow. And at least you don't die. I think I figured it out now. Uh, first off, you actually have to go to this war pad outside the thing. And I can actually go through it. Hooray. Uh, you want to go to this area here. Instead of the way I went before. Whichever way it was. And you want to quickly go through here before you lose any... Um, yeah, lose any health from the fire, because you can actually lose health from the fire. And let's see, then you have all the time in the world to do this. Not gonna bother, uh, <laughs> showing all that again. And basically, we can push this. And there probably is enough way to do this. Any digging? Uh, that basically brings up this. You can probably predict what's gonna happen. And the Jiggy's actually inside of there, so you have to use a clock word egg to get it. And it leads all the way back to Grunty, or the Jolly Rogers Lagoon Jiggy. One of the Jiggies you wouldn't be getting for a while, actually. <laughs> 